Now, I know there's only 11 or 12 people watching these videos. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now, you 11 or 12 people. You forward this to as many people as you can. Because I told you so doesn't even begin to cut what is happening right now. All right, end of the world conspiracy theory, my butt. There's no conspiracy about it when you can see it with your own two eyes. Are you ready for this? That is part personal finance, part science fiction. In Sweden, people are now implanting microchips into their hand that function as their credit card, their ID, and more. Talk about a mobile wallet. Sarah Harmon has more on this brave new world. When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. Like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird, yeah. It's like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all in chip, so I use it like to get around the building. Buy some snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blink my chip, and it will log me in, mm -hmm. and from there I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrain procedure with local anesthetic, and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. They're not even cash pretty much obsolete. referring to the fact no cash. At this tech fair, that a chipping event it's a market of beast. Edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain... I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. Feel less human? I would feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, and it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped. But biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it will be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah Harmon, and so, News, Stockholm. I told you so! Millions of us did. You weren't listening. You still want to fight with me? You still want to play your games? Well then, prepare to go into the fire. Wake up! The end is here. This is the mark of the beast. It is right there. It's going in your hand. It's going under your skin. You are in danger. You're in danger. You ain't got to listen. Go ahead. Go ahead and take it. Go ahead. And do nothing, church. Let's just... Did you hear one of those people say it's the mark of the beast? But church, let's do nothing. Let's say that it's unavoidable, that it's God's will. No. God's will is that we get out in the streets and reap the harvest. I'm sick to my stomach. I can't.